for my research, uh, it's crucial to have industrial support. Uh, actually, our battery work uh, was kick-started by working with the car company Honda, where we look at uh, lithium oxygen battery chemistries, and uh, we've developed uh, uh, in-situ transmission electron microscopy methods to look at what happens at uh, the battery uh, castle. And uh, currently, we are supported by uh, Samsung to look at uh, lithium sulfur batteries, where uh, the interest is not only for consumer electronics, but maybe also for uh, 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 drones, uh, where the, uh, both gravimetric and the volumetric energy densities are crucial. And now we also are starting to work with uh, General Electric on uh, grid-scale storage solutions, where cost and the cycle life are paramount. So uh, the industry has a uh, very direct uh, uh, impact on our research directions because they give uh, uh, a range of demands on the battery performance because you have different kinds of battery for different applications. So it can be very application oriented. Uh, we also work with uh, cell phone industries uh, to look at uh, uh, high volumetric energy uh, density batteries. Ideally, you would like to charge your cell phone maybe uh, uh, two days uh, instead of charge it one day. So that would be a big improvement. Uh, and that would require a significantly higher energy density. Right now, the cell phone battery is about uh, one third to one, a quarter of the uh, volume of a cell phone. So by, ha by increasing the energy density, you can make the cell phone smaller. And there is also uh, recently uh, some uh, uh, requirement for them to be deformable as well, right? So you have deformable screens and you also need the deformable batteries. And so, so that in that way you can fold the cell phone uh, and, and so forth. So there are a lot of uh, new requirements on, on, on the batteries uh, and, and that is a, a relentless push on uh, what uh, people require of batteries.